Hey guys, Kara Sifty here with review. This time I'll be reviewing the B Commander Complete Edition from Juco B Fighter. This is a collector's version of the B Commander from Juco B Fighter, which is known as the West, in the West as Big Bad Beetleborgs, making this the Japanese version of the Beetle Bonder. And this has new molding, new features, and new sounds that are more accurate to the show. Included in the set are the B Commander itself three cartridges, six minifigures, and a display stand. So, let's get started. First, we'll look at the base B Commander. So, this has the same design as the original, though from what I've seen it's a bit bigger in terms of the sizing. And while it has a lot of the same colors, such as the black, chrome, red, and silver, it has additional paint for all of the little line details. Got the back here with the battery cover here and the slot to put in the cartridges which are the horns. And we also press the button to, to look on the inside. Where the original one used a sticker for the inside, this one is a lot more detailed. Where we can see it has a clear casing over the background and then it has a lot of chrome gold for the different parts of the cybernetics and the kind of computer chip like details are all well done. We'll have some metallic red and metallic green for these parts, two of which will be lights, two of which will not. We also have the cartridges themselves. On the original you would get the horns by flipping up different sets of horns from the back, but with this they're separate pieces that plug in and detach very easily. Next we'll look at the minifigures, which are miniaturized versions of the Bee Fire's insect armors housed in the Bee Commanders. First we have Blue Beat, aka the Blue Singer Beetle Borg. You can see it's very nicely well detailed with some good paint applications that really capture a lot of the details, make them stand out. At the back, which is also well detailed and has a port here to attach to the B Commander. Then we have G Stag, aka the Green Hunter Beetle Borg. Once again, quite well detailed. And third is Reddle, aka the Red Striker Beetleborg. All of their likenesses are captured very well, despite how small the figures are. In addition, we also have a clear plastic set, which is done so that it can actually help out with the light effects of the Bee Commander. These are the same molds, but obviously all done without paint and in clear plastic. And they're all quite nice and vibrant. After that, we can get to the electronics of the toy. So, notice that you can't see a visible power switch. That's because it's hidden in the battery compartment, so you just slide it off like this, and you can switch it on. Notice it doesn't make a sound, and if you press the button down here, you'll get that sound, which is basically an error sound. So in order to get the proper sounds, switch it off, plug in a cartridge, then switch it back on. So, for transmission, we can prep it by placing in the clear figure, closing the wings, and then opening them up.
And there are also a couple of buttons on the side. One is a voice button, and the other is a BGM button. And pressing that has it reset to the beginning. So we can kind of do a little bit of roleplay here by pressing the button for the transformation call, and then activating the transformation. Just like that. I also have some other sounds that come after it. Originally, by pressing a few times, we get the recovery mode. Additionally, you can play other sounds on top of the BGM, so I'll demonstrate that too. We also switch out for the normal insect armor, like so. And we can do the transformation, though it won't look quite as good as with the clear version. We also switch it to a second mode, although there is actually a sort of call feature if you leave this alone for long enough. And so in the meantime, I'll show you guys what it looks like when on the display stand. You can see it rests quite well, and you can display it both closed and open. Additionally, we can also switch it to beat machine mode by pressing holding the BGM button. Like that, we have a different BGM going, which will be the theme for the beat machines, and it gives us different voice lines. Beat 
始末を迎え地球の病は極限に達している今こそジャマールが現れたビーファイター直ちに急行してくれ一人は全員のために全員は一人のためにだよしそこだキックだキックだパンチだパンチだキックだパンチだわしよりもっとのやつは許せんからなそうかみんなぶつかったか As you can see, it has to by the game afterwards. After Blue Beat, we'll next look at the sounds for G Stag. So we'll open up B Commander, plug in cartridge, and start by using the clear version for the transformation. As you can hear, they all use the same transformation sound, but the light color is different for each. You can also take a look at with the fully painted figure. Got that in there, just like that, looks quite nice. You have some of these sounds. Then we can switch it over to beat machine mode. And get some sounds for this mode as well. Just like so. Then we can display it on the stand and wait for the call to initiate. And really, the only reason I'm not uh, giving you all the sounds is because there are a lot of them between all the different modes. Give it a bit. Then finally, we'll get to the mode for Rebel. So, as usual, we'll open up. Type the cartridge and set in the clear figure. Then activate the transformation. And here's where we get to the unfortunate part about the B Commander Complete Edition, is that while they were able to get the actors for Blue Beat, Gistag, and Professor Mukai, their mentor, to record lines for the toy, they were not able to get any lines for a rattle from the original actresses, since there were two of them. They just weren't able to get them. We still have the recovery mode.
Then you have the fully painted figure and some of the voice lines. Which are basically just the other characters talking about her. Also some lines for this mode which don't actually pertain to the mode all too much. And we'll sit on the stand for the call sound. It is definitely a pretty good stand that has a good angle for displaying it since it's not completely upright. So it's a little bit better to look at, especially on camera like this. So once again, we have to give it a few seconds. And there we go. Overall, this is a great replica and a real step up from the original toy. And for those who don't know, since the original toy was made in the mid-90s, they were very limited on what they were able to do. So, in terms of lights and sounds, it was just continuous flashing lights and a continued single beeping sound. And with this, we get sounds that are actually from the show, as well as a whole bunch of other fe features, you know, such as the voices and the BGM. And it's also definitely an improvement to have the horns be these individual cartridges instead of the flip-out horns that we had on the original toy. I even think one of the biggest things that really adds to the set are the clearer figures that help really replicate the effect from the show of how we see the insect armor glow and light up when they transform into bee fighters. And while this is, you know, a little bit different from how it was used in Beetleborgs, I'd still say that this is a good pickup whether you're a bee fighter or a Beetleborgs fan. So, if you really like this and if you can afford it, I definitely recommend to pick this up. Next time I'll be taking a look at the Command Voicer and Insect Commander Unit Complete Edition. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Karo50, riding off.